welcome you all uh, first we will start with unit 1 in the subject geotechnical engineering uh, in fact uh, we have uh, uh, in unit 1 we have uh, introduction to geotechnical engineering uh, this uh, mainly focus on the scope of the subject uh, scope of geotechnical engineering soil formation and types of soils and also major soil deposits in india so in unit 1 we have all these uh, contents so let us start with scope of geotechnical engineering here you see uh, this uh, geotechnical engineering is a broad field uh, in fact it is trying to think about all the branches of civil engineering so let us have a look on this uh, uh, the different scope uh, i say applications of geotechnical engineering so here in different civil engineering works initially we see here uh, uh, many times we used to use uh, the knowledge of uh, soil engineering for designing foundations so here you see uh, in this picture we have a foundation uh, in fact it is a shallow foundation it is a shallow foundation depth is less here in the other picture you can see the depth of the foundation is more this we used to call deep foundation. Anyhow, uh, while you are uh, designing foundation for a structure, uh, we should have a knowledge on soil. So the soil, uh, knowing properties of soil, will allow us to design safe and economical foundation systems for structure. This is the load coming from the superstructure. So by having a knowledge on soil, it is possible to design foundations whether it is shallow or deep foundation like pile foundation so apart from foundation uh, we can use the knowledge of uh, soil mechanics geotechnical engineering for designing retaining walls many times we use it to observe retaining structures here you see this is a retaining wall so uh, in fact retaining wall are constructed uh, to support the soil to retain the soil many times you might be observed uh, especially in canals here you see uh, sometimes you see uh, the canal uh, sites uh, will be protected with the retaining wall so this is the canal running full so let me assume now this is the retaining wall which is trying to retain this earth soil so now if you want to design this uh, retaining wall so the knowledge of soil is uh, indispensable it is absolutely necessary to know the properties of soil so in order to design this earth retaining structure retaining wall in similar lines uh, here we can see here uh, there is a, this is actually a retaining wall uh, we used to discuss in foundation engineering elaborately but the thing is retaining wall is a rigid structure whereas here you see sheet pile sometimes we use it to use uh, a sheet pile so we use it to use a sheet uh, in order to support the soil. So now you see uh, we need knowledge of soil. So in order to design uh, these, uh, what is a flexible retaining structures, what you call sheet pile walls, sheet pile walls. Here you can see here. So now the another application of uh, your technical engineering, let us see now, you see, this is in a highway, one can see now, and this is the highway embankment. So now, uh, many times we used to observe embankments along the road also. We have road embankments, highway embankments, and railway embankments. So here it is a typical filling. Uh, one can see now cutting also. Now you see, now whatever the filling and cutting uh, we made on soil, are uh, not only made on soil, in fact, the filling many times we used to construct with soil. So the thing is, now uh, we need to design these slopes uh, that means how much angle of slope you have to maintain it depends on type of soil it depends on type of soil it's maybe filling a typical uh, example for filling is highways highway embankment or uh, road embankment here you see a typical example for cutting so with a slope this is the angle of slope let me tell you slope angle so we being an engineer civil engineer we have to design this slope that means we have to decide the angle of slope so it depends on type of soil it depends on properties of soil so now you see this is a cutting with the angle of slope beta so here it is a filling with the angle of slope 
beta now this is the soil used for filling so this cutting is done in the soil so the knowledge of soil is required in order to design in order to design stable slopes stable slopes so after all we have we are seeing here uh, filling and we are seeing here cutting this is beta is angle of slope so these are all at them slopes so all these slopes are made with the at now you see the knowledge of uh, soil mechanics is required in underground structures here you see this is a tunnel in fact it is surrounded by soil or rock or any other material geological material so now you see the knowledge of soil uh, is required for uh, designing the tunnel for designing the tunnel so tunnel is an underground structure so now you see it's a conduit pipe what you call pipe so here you see closed conduit so if you want to design a pipe so uh, especially underground uh, once it is buried in ground so there is a pressure from the soil so we need to understand yet the pressure that we call pressure act from the soil so so the knowledge of soil engineering uh, geotechnical engineering allows you to design all the underground structures by estimating proper estimation of yet the pressure coming from the surrounding soil surrounding soil and apart from this uh, there are so many applications of geotechnical engineering one very important application here you see in pavement design usually we have pavement in a in a ordinary language i can call it as a road so here you see it's just a highway highway pavement or road pavement uh, here you see many times we know the structure of the road we have sub base base and varying course this we call surfacing but the fact is uh the, while you are designing pavement whether it is a flexible pavement or rigid pavement i can say bt road or cc road cement concrete road so bt road is a flexible pavement here in this picture you can see a flexible pavement you have sub base base and varying course so here you see the crust thickness that means uh, thickness of sub base and base slab uh, base course uh, actually uh, the thickness of these uh, layers are decided based on the subgrade soil strength so usually we use it to evaluate cbr value cbr value of the subgrade soil uh, once we know the cbr value of the subgrade soil and knowing the traffic intensity so then only we can decide the uh, thickness of sub base and base course this we are trying to call as design of pavements so design of pavements many times is speaking about a design of pavements many times speaking about uh, uh, speaking about uh, th uh, what thickness of sub base we have to put what how much thickness of base course we have to put so if you want to decide thickness of sub base and base course so we should have a knowledge on soil here in uh, transportation engineering we use it to call soil as subgrade because it is not a graded material so now uh, this is one application very wide application of you know, geotechnical engineering uh, especially in transportation engineering now let us see uh, the one of the major application of the uh, knowledge of geotechnical engineering how we can use in water resources engineering let us see here this is an earthen dam so now you can see this is the core of the dam uh, many times we use it to select impervious soil as core uh, let me tell you clay soil as core and uh, and we use it to select uh, outside the core we have a shell uh, we use it to select previous soil like gravel uh, this is the a typical cross section of a earth, earthen dam so the, this dam is built with soil uh, let me tell you the core is built with impervious soil the shell is built with previous soil so so the here the core is inside portion of the dam so this is the so where you see we need soil knowledge of soil in order to in order to select a material suitable for core and shell so there are so many other applications uh, regarding uh, this scope of geotechnical engineering so thank you all uh, i think uh, yes